Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the social media follow module fixed just like in Monarch. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So as you can see, as I'm scrolling up and down, uh, the social media icons are fixed on this side. So without wasting a lot of time, and let's dive in. Let me show you how we managed to create this. In order for us to make the social media follow module fixed, we are going to use some CSS code. And if you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link to our post in the show notes below. All right, so let's get started. So what you want to do is to add your module. So I'm going to come over here below the gallery, but it doesn't matter where you put this module. So I'm just going to click this plus button here to add our social media follow. So I'm just going to search for it like that. And here it is. I'm going to click on social media follow. And the first thing we want to do is to start adding all the channels. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add an item. I'm going to select the network. I'm going to start with Facebook, right? On the bottom here, this is where you get to link to your Facebook uh, page or your Facebook group. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to leave this as it is with this uh, pound sign because um, this just adds a blank link. Okay, so now that I've added Facebook, I'm going to click back here, add another one. And this time it's going to be um, Twitter. Again, this is where you add your link. So I'm going to go back. Then we're going to add another one. Google Plus. Go back. And I think for now we'll just add these four. Okay. Right, so we've got all our social media uh, links and we can see them right here uh, uh, just below our heading, our gallery heading. Okay, so here on this icon, you can select this and then choose how you want these to appear. So right now, they are set up as a rounded rectangle, which you can see here, but you can also have them in a circle. So I prefer having them in a rounded rectangle, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And then also here, uh, URL opens. So when someone clicks this button here, you can um, make this open um, in a new tab, but this is uh, highly recommended because uh, it means that uh, if people want to go back to their website, they can always do that. Okay. And then also here you have this follow button, but for now, we're not going to have this follow uh, on there because we're going to have this on the side. Okay. So now that, we, now, now that we're done with that, I'm going to come over here to design. And then in the text here, this is where if you had that follow, you can adjust your text. So for now, we are done with this stage. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now it's time to add our CSS because what we're trying to achieve here is to have these social media follow uh, buttons either on the, re on the right, on the left, on the top or the bottom. So this can be achieved using some CSS code. Now there's two ways you can, uh, you can do this. Either you can have this on the side here throughout the whole website or you can have it on a particular page. So let me start by showing you how to do this on a particular page. So I'm going to come over here to my page settings, click advanced, click custom CSS, and then I'm just going to drag this until I get to the bottom here and add my CSS code. Now what you may notice is um, our social media follow icons have disappeared. Now in order for us to see them, what we need to do is to save and then exit out of uh, our visual builder. So I'm going to save this for now and then I'm going to come over here to the bottom and click on save once again. Now I'm going to click on exit visual builder and on the right here you can see that these are social icons. Now if I start scrolling you can see that they're fixed and this is exactly what we're trying to achieve. And if you had your links set up, if you click here, this will link you to your Facebook page. Okay, excellent. So this only works on this particular page. Now, let me show you that. If I come here over, to, over here to our fitness page, you can see here there's nothing. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go back to our landing page. Now, that is because I added the CSS code onto this particular page. But if you want to have it uh, site-wide, that's straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here, click on Dashboard. And then you want to come over here to Divi Theme Customizer. Click on Additional CSS. And this is where you can paste your CSS code. Now by pasting it here, all our settings are going to be site-wide. Okay, so this is one way you could do this. I'm going to cut this and show you another place where you can add this CSS code. Right, so what you want to do is to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Options. Scroll all the way down until you see this custom CSS. 
scroll all the way down and you can see that our code can be pasted here okay so this achieves the same the same result but uh, as i mentioned before if you add your css code here this affects your site globally so if you want to um, add your social media icons to the left to the top or to the bottom all you need to do is to add some css code which can be found on our blog post and i've also included the link to that in the show notes below so pretty much this is how you achieve this so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we produce more videos similar to what you're seeing today until next time thanks for watching and see you soon